Hello everybody, welcome back. Um, yeah, this is my first video for today. Um, so we're gonna get back to working on the game. Today, I wanna do some things with you all watching, just because, why not? <laughs> Um, basically yesterday I added this new object right here for the machine gun. Basically it's just an image, which is an object now in the game, which it just covers up the player and moves with the player, and I, I did a bunch of really janky stuff to get this to work. But basically I've been doing some things to make it the game perform better, um, Specifically because instances load everywhere, and um, I had to make it so that way they, they don't load. Yeah. Ba basically, I, I did a, a bit of work with the debugger and stuff. Um, so, one of the main issues I had was massive per performance drops the closer you get to the center of the level. Um, which I might split levels into four different rooms. Might That might be an idea. Um... Speaking of rooms, I need to make a, a new room, which is going to be where we we load in. Um, I, I don't know much about rooms. I, I'll do that later. Basically, this room, it, it, it's, it's not very good for um, testing, and uh, I need to open up Task Manager to make sure some applications are, are very closed and um, not creating extra disk, which is always in the red for me for some reason um i don't know how to make that better but <laughs> yeah if i could get better performance on this potato I, I i would love it but um today we're not gonna need you google chrome i, I already know what i'm doing so basically i'm gonna create some sprites and these sprites are gonna be using the same sprite for gun arms but I'm not going to be modifying the other sprites right now. I'll do that later because it's just a quality of life thing. I just want to get this in the game and get it functional. So today we're going to start off making two sprites. Um, one's going to be for a mortar type weapon. And the other is going to be for probably the rocket launcher. So to do this we're going to just click create. Um, sprite. Now I'm also going to go through and... Um, Alright. So, I gotta go through and then um, set up the code for this as well. Um, clean this place up. Hold on one second. <laughs> Reset layout. Yes. So, we're gonna need two objects for this. Well, three. Yes. Yes, just... Oh, oh my god, it's crashing. <laughs> what, what's going on? Where is my disk going? I might have too many files on my PC. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, say that's probably the issue here because I cannot find out what's going on here. Alright. Anyway, I am going to go ahead and um, sprites. So it was sprite 31, I think. And that's the one we're gonna need for this. So. To do what I'm about to do, I just need the image, and I click import image, which is what I usually do, just because it saves so much time. I go into my sprites, and then um, I'll see which one is the uh, thing is gun arms, so we'll do make this one gun arms too, probably. Um, yes, open that. Yes, import it. So first off, how, how am I going to make this rocket launcher? Is if, if that's what you want to know. Uh, I have a plan in mind on how to get the missile to follow the player's cursor. Which I'll show you how to do that. Um, how to set that up. It's very simple. And I discovered it because I, I made an accident. <laughs> it's, it's really easy. You just need to set up the step event. So that way the bullet will follow the cursor. So it's in this. It's, it's just going to make more sense when I show you it. Uh, yeah, okay, I'll, I'll fix the name in a second, um, alright, just erase, let's erase the arms and redo this image right here, um, alright, so, to do this, I need to go like this, shut up, alright, I need to do this, 
<laughs> All right. Um, there we go. So, yeah, making sprites isn't very easy. I'm, I'm just gonna say that it's not my, one of my strong suits. Um, I, I just, I'm just make it work, you know. <laughs> Um, I've done it several times, especially when I was working with the, um, making the player follow the mouse. That, that, that was something I was doing a while ago. Um, I actually have a video where I have that working, um, before all the lag issues I ran into, which I need, I definitely need to optimize my code, is what I think. Um, uh, like this, that, that works, right? <laughs> it just fits together there. Why not? Um, basically, we're gonna make a rocket launcher, so, uh, let's do the arms first, so that way I know what I'm doing. Um, so one needs to be, like, out here, and then the other one can just go up like that. Right? <laughs> I'm assuming this this is how it's gonna look. It's, it's gonna, oh wait, it should probably be lower, shouldn't it? And then I need to make it more like that. Eh? And then, yeah, if you couldn't tell, I, I definitely do, do take a bit of time on the sprites. Um, mainly because I, I can't make them in like five seconds. It's, it's just not possible for me to do that. Oh, and the head goes here, if you're wondering. Because this actually overlays over the other one. So that's how, that's how I make this work. And that, that's my plan. So today I'm going to do this. And uh, what time are we at on the video? Seven minutes? Okay, that's perfectly fine. Um, Alright, more, more square, I think. More square. Um... It's really just trial and error when you're making your sprites, and I should have done this before I did this video, but this is the whole process if you're wondering. I usually just make the sprite, then I'll do the code, I'll, I'll, well I'll make an object and then do the code. Um, well first off I have to have an idea for what I want to do and how I'm going to do it, which is usually what I come up with first, so to make a rocket launcher. Um, I already had the idea to do this and because I came up with like a... Something that I made on accident, which was the bullets just follow the the cursor, and uh, I think this looks decent, but um, eh, could be better. So this should, in theory, be behind the player's head. Um, unfortunately, it's not. It's not. It's probably not going to be behind the player's head, but um, yeah, it will work. It'll get the job done for now, just just to show what I'm about to do. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, just make it a brick for now. There we go. Okay. So now that we have this done, it just kind of represents rocket launcher. <laughs> um, I, I'll make it better in a bit. I'm going to go ahead and rename this sprite. Alright, so gun arms 2, right? Gun underscore arms two. There we go. Hopefully I didn't misspell anything, but it wouldn't be the first time. I, I've misspelled many variables. Alright. So now I need to go to objects. And then object one is the player. And then so here we go. Here's here's what I have coded. So in our create event, um we have gun equals one. Which we're gonna set that to two, so now it will be two, and then we'll create an if event, or if this happens, then this happens. Basically, is what we're gonna do. Um, here's all the code for the gun. So if gun equals one, this is all that's gonna happen. Well, it carries out all of this code. So now, if I set gun equals two, or create one for if gun equals two, it will carry out all the same code. Which is going to be good because we can just copy and paste it from here. So if gun equals 2. There we go. And then I'll create a system for how it changes between them. Um, so it'll create like an event for like 
a collision because as you can see here i have collision events for the ammo or the health let's let's check let's check this out so object nine subtracts from the player so that's the alien bullet um as for my gui this is for all the variables that the player has that aren't really necessary but they're still there some of them aren't necessary some of these are just here because why not um <laughs> Yeah, I don't put a lot of time into making sure that things look pretty nice. So, ammo equals six. So, then we'll just, we'll just do six ammo. Reload equals, yeah, why not? <laughs> so, now it's got an instant create depth for the machine gun, which, that's like, oh, uh, wait, no. Um, for the, okay, we need to change that to... Oh, we need to make a new object. That's right. Um, objects create. So let's create the rocket launcher real quick. So basically, select sprite. Um, sprites. Uh, no, that's not it. Okay, alien jumping. <laughs> no, that's not what we want. Um, I mean, we could use that. What's sprite twenty? No, I don't want that. It's just blank. Just go to sprites, please. Um, thank you. Uh, there we go, Gun Arms 2, our good old rocket launcher, and we'll see how this looks on the player. It, it's gonna look weird, but it's uh, it's supposed to look weird. <laughs> it's not fully completed. Yeah, and um, so now I need to go ahead and copy and paste the machine guns code into this thing, so I can just change it to... Control C. Um, we'll, we'll rename this to Rocket Underscore Launcher. Uh, <laughs> underscore Launcher. There we go. Yes. All I need to do now is uh, click Add Event, and um, it's this for Step. Step Event. So now I gotta change some of these variables around. So these are test. I had to make this really weird because, so this wouldn't work. I couldn't get to the work, um, so I had to do rocket that or rocket launcher dot. Or well, in this case, we're doing rocket launcher, but I had to do machine underscore gun to get it to work, which was um, problematic because it took me like an hour to figure out what was going on. Um, yeah, basically, all the rest of this tells it what to do, um, so it follows the player by making its Y equal object 1's Y, which is all we need to do. Um, now, for the last part, how do we get the bullets to track the weapon? So, to do that, all you need to do is, um, we need to create a new bullet, don't we? I think that's what we need to do. So I'm going to go ahead and take care of that right here. Um, so we're going to make a new sprite. And this will be for the rocket launcher's bullet. So now we need to make it so that way the rocket launcher shoots this bullet. Um, create sprite. Yes. Okay. So to make this happen, all we need to do is um, workspace resize it. If you don't know how to do this, all you need to do is go into this and then change the size to whatever you want. So in my case, I'm going to do 10, which it should just automatically make it equal. Yep. So now I can make the rocket launcher bullet, which I guess will make, um, I'm not going to do any animations right now. Uh, I just want to get this in. Why not make it, like, <laughs> I I'm not the best artist in the world. Um, I'm just going to do this. There we go. Hold on. It should be more like this, shouldn't it? Hold on. <laughs> there we go. Uh, we'll erase this. Um, move this down so that way it's in the center. Right? Oh, wait. It won't center. It won't. <laughs> it just won't. I know it won't. I knew that. Don't worry. I got this. Uh, Alright, so that that's aligned, that's aligned. Um, 
now all I need to do is um I guess I'll make this look better a bit. Um I think I like this design better. Maybe. No, it just looks like it has a shadow now. Uh let's make that like this. I'm I'm really trying here. <laughs> Alright, we'll go with that, and then we'll just put, like, flames coming out the back or something. Actually, technically, this is a, this won't have flames coming out of the back. It just doesn't make sense for that to happen. Um, Alright, so now that we have Sprite 2, we just need to create a new object called... Um, rocket Launcher. Yes, please. Um, um, object. Yes. Uh, this one will be... A rocket. We'll just call it rocket. <laughs> so now th there's two types of weapons that I can create. Which there's one where it's indirect fire, and then there's another one where it tracks the player's mouse. Which I'm not gonna show indirect fire because I have no idea how to do that right now. I'll come up with that after this episode or video. Um, we're at 16 minutes, by the way. <laughs> yeah, it's basically. We need to just set the sprite, um, sprites, go ahead and, uh, sprite 32, yep, there we go, and then we're gonna open up our bullet and just copy and paste, so now, hold on, we should have a, a machine rocket launcher once we, um, once we get this done, which is object 6 is the bullet, alright, here we go. So now we just copy and paste all of this code. Um, okay, so this code right here, the create event. We're going to copy and paste this. So now what we need to do is add event, create, and add one for the step. So our step event will test. <laughs> it basically runs every time that like every in-game frame is like a step so it just runs um so now we we can uh, go ahead and um set this up so now move towards player mouse uh let's test this now so we're not gonna have any collision with this yet so it won't destroy itself when it hits any of the things. Um, oh, one more thing I need to do. And it also isn't... This is, this is going to be very laggy too. Um, because why not? Uh, I need to make it so that way... When you fire it, it... Um, hold on, let me, let me clean this up a bit. Um, if gun equals 1, if gun equals 2. So now... Instance create depth machine gun uh rocket underscore launcher shouldn't that be it? If gun equals two rocket underscore launcher. Yep. Rocket launcher. Um then we need to make it so that way it shoots. So if I need to check for if key. Uh, okay, so here's one of the problems I, I just ran into. Right here is the code for the shooting. So now, this would always be true, technically. Um, so if key and gun equals... We just add another... And that that will work. Um, gun equals one. So now it will check that. Um, so I should be able to just add another if statement, which should be able to get this to run, and then I'll polish it up later off camera. So two gun equals so if gun equals two, it will um, create the instance for our rocket rocket yep is it raining 
I can't tell if it's raining outside. Um, all right, anyway. That should be able to get it to work if we have any issues, which we probably won't, I'm assuming we might not have any issues. Um, yeah, it will be good. It will be fantastic. It seems to be loading, so I, I don't think I messed up any of the variables or anything. And now we should be able to see the sprite in the game, too. Okay, so we, we do have one issue with the sprite, but... Oh, what happened? Unable to find any object instance named machine gun one. Um, abort. Hold on. Um, ah, okay. So here's what's going on here. Um, let's pack this code and put it into the um, machine guns code instead. I'm assuming this is the problem. So now if gun equals 1, it will test that. And uh, if gun equals 2, it will... Basically, I just put this one into the same thing and it, it should work. I'm assuming that this was the issue. If it wasn't, then we're, we're not... We're not this, this isn't fun. Um, instance create depth machine gun 1. Reload what? Why does it say that there? Oh, st okay, stupid. Um, <laughs> all right. So now I just put this into here. There we go. And well, now let's try it. <laughs> this is usually how it goes. So if something goes wrong, just retry it, and then eventually it will work. And oh, we have two. Oh, look at that though. I think that, I think it worked kinda. Oh, they do follow the mouse. <laughs> I can't really see them. Oh yeah, they're definitely following the mouse. I'm not sure why it created two instances though of the same thing and why they're at foot level. Oh, okay, I know why they're at foot level. Anyway, so yeah, this works now. Okay. So now I just need to polish it up a bit. And um, yeah, basically that's that's how it works. Like, that's how I do things. I, I make this thing and I put it in the game and then I make it work and I make it work better and then I make it look better. Um, and I'm not sure why there was two, but um, I'm assuming I, I may have du duplicated something in here. And um, that's fine. Anyway. I'm going to take a, a bit of a break. I'll see you all next time. Um, hold on. Goodbye.